So the aquarium has several major functions. Obviously, it's a terrific collection and an entertaining place for people to bring their families. But we add another dimension of meaning to that collection by having research and conservation programs all over the world. My major research focus is on whale sharks. One of the things that we always wonder about is how do whale sharks find food in such a large ocean? I mean, it's obviously an open ocean species, travels all over the world, huge migrations. And somehow, in all of that swimming, they have to find food. Well, what we're doing is we're trying to figure out how whale sharks sense their food um, using chemosensory navigation chemicals. Um, and so what that means is basically we, we put some food into the water and see what they do um, to try to figure out exactly how they find their food. Uh, well, we tested two different chemicals. We tested uh, a beautiful krill smoothie, um, which is just so fun to make, and we've tested dimethyl sulfide. Um, we've discovered that they really like the krill. They don't um, seem to respond as much to the dimethyl sulfide. In order for science to proceed, we have to go from these basic building blocks. And the first building block is, do they perceive things using a sense of smell? And does that allow them to find things that they would not otherwise be able to find? And those are the conclusions that we're able to draw from our experiments at this point. Many of the species in our collection, including whale sharks, are somewhat threatened in their natural environment. And so we want to learn as much as we can about them and provide that information to decision makers who can affect the conservation of those species in their natural habitat.